Hello, I'm Norino Petro, Practice Management Advisor for the State Bar of Wisconsin's Practice 411 Law Office Management Assistance Program. And today we're going to talk about an issue that faces many of us that use email, and that issue is sending file attachments that may be too large to someone out of the office. This problem may arise because our email provider doesn't allow us to attach a file of that size or more than likely the recipient's email will reject uh, emails with attachments larger than two or three megabytes of information. This is a problem. And how do we fix it? Well, yes, you could burn the information to a CD or a DVD or even to a flash drive and send it or carry it, but that kind of defeats the purpose of wanting to send it by the internet so it is a more immediate response. Luckily, there are services now that make this much easier for us and overcome the problem. The way these services generally work is you go to their site on the web and you upload your file. It then allows you to send an email from the service to your recipient. The attachment isn't actually attached to the email. Instead, what is provided is a link inside the email that will take the recipient out to the provider's servers and allow them to download the file, thereby completely bypassing the email issue completely. Uh, one of the more popular services is a service called YouSendIt.com. Uh, YouSendIt.com offers both free and paid services. With their free service, you can send an attachment up to 50 megabytes in size uh, to one recipient or more. Uh, with their paid files, uh, with their paid service, you can send uh, files up to two gigabytes in size. Now, there are a number of other services as well, BigAttachment.com, CuteSendIt.com, uh, SendThisFile.com, all kinds of services. Most of these services also offer both free and paid uh, accounts. The differences generally uh, fall under the, the size of the file that you can send and whether or not uh, you also obtain online storage for the file so you can reuse it or download it if you need it later, uh, as well as additional services such as a return receipt, additional security uh, functions, and things like that. Even with the free accounts, they may allow you to send a file up to two gigabytes in size, but if the free account puts a data cap on how much information you can transfer during a month, such as 250 megabytes, you're going to be limited by that data cap as to how large of a file you can send. YouSendIt.com is, is a great service that we use here at the bar because with the paid service uh, it does meet the HIPAA requirements and so we conform to federal law for transferring medical information associated with the Lawyers Assistance Program. I use it regularly to send large files, videos, and other things uh, that come about from scanning or that we just use anymore because the reality is we're doing more with video and multimedia and so being able to transfer this information by the internet means we can get the information to the other side faster and they can make use of it faster. So if you're encountering an issue with you're trying to send an attachment and it's bouncing or it won't allow you to do it because it's telling you the file is too large, go ahead, do an internet search on um, big email attachments. You'll find any number of services or you can contact Practice 411 at practicehelp at wizbar.org practice help at wizbar.org or give me a call at 800-444-9404 800-444-9404 extension 6012 and I'll be happy to help you with this.